All right, well, I'm still studying this uh, Lin's Law and induction, and uh, I decided to go ahead and build up a simple AC induction motor to uh, take a look at that and see what, what it's like. And there were a bunch of designs on YouTube, and I just kind of picked a bunch of them and put them all together in my particular method. And uh, I didn't want to use a wall outlet uh, transformer. I try to stay away from plugging in stuff to the wall. So I went to a a 12 volt battery with a little inverter that puts out a good enough sine wave to run this setup. Uh, I didn't have an AC capacitor so I had to use a couple electrolytics back to back and this is getting ready to blow I'm pretty sure. And then I was drawing too much current so I put in some resistors here and some heat sinks to drop the current down but it does work. And this is the uh, metal, uh, 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 ferrous metal steel jar lid technique rather than the aluminum can technique. Uh, the two coils uh, here are from one of the other designs where instead of putting them at 90 degrees you put them right next to one another and on my particular setup that seemed to work the best. And the uh, capacitors um, throw one of the coils out of phase so that you get a mismatch on the sine wave, uh, out of phase sine wave and that puts a force vector on the rotor and causes it to turn and that's just sitting on a needle uh, that's uh, there's a little dimple right in the middle and this sits on the needle now let me turn this on and show you how it works it's got an ammeter hit set up here it wobbles around pretty good until it gets going then it, it stabilizes out There's a lot of uh, these uh, minimalist uh, induction motors on uh, YouTube if you want to take a look at them. But this was just uh, one I put together here just to see if I could get it to work. And it does work. Um, I'm drawing about an amp on this thing right now. But this is a, a display of at least the idea of how a uh, AC induction motor operates. Um, everything gets pretty hot and warm doing this. Uh, like I say, it draws about an amp. What kind of got me about this was the amount of power it took to move that rotor, the way this is set up. And I can do a whole lot better with a little tiny solar panel <laughs> and a pulse motor DC. But anyway, I did want to look at this to see how it worked. And this is, like I say, uh, an example of a... Uh, AC induction type of motor. Thanks for watching.